Okay, folks, that is a sunburst bomb that they basically put out to try to cover up what you can see in front of the sun. That their big cloud that basically looks like someone's left a bunch of bags of sugar or flour out in the middle of the air like out of an airplane. But basically, whatever they did put in front of the sun here, as he pans back, that's the sun getting covered up by whatever. Now, that plane didn't do it. Another plane did it. And yes, these planes are large, like 757, 747, C-130 cargo and bigger. And they are hauling ass. They are not attaining and nor doing a normal. And the idea that you have not really seen a lot of chem uh, contrails out of airplanes are very clean these days. The fuel has been cleaned up, JP, to make sure emissions and stuff for standards to get met. So when you see a plane like this, it is a chemtrail. Okay, I'm going to forward this because basically it's just hauling ass through the air. And yes, we know, you know, I've seen a jet move that fast. Yeah, most of the time if you see a jet moving that fast, it's a military one. Okay, another burst that's probably been blown out to cover up. Okay, this guy has been catching this and then he caught what we're going to show you. There was a couple contrails that he had, but he catches it going into this. You can see that dark line, dark light that we keep on. I uh, keep showing you down at Nehemiah, and I'm gonna back it up just a little bit because he starts noticing it going into that dark line, and you'll see it there. Now, when you freeze, uh, the powers to be have been doing something to make sure that you pretty much don't notice that, as you can see that line there, and they're covering it up. Okay, it's dark light, it's a halo from the sun, okay? Or a large comet that's going by, i.e. watch my last half dozen videos of the idea of the object that I caught on Hawaii after going to basically make sure my video was up and noticed and seen one of the triangulations in a gigantic. Now it could end up being a satellite, that object, but I really kind of doubt it. And if you zoom in and cut and paste and take the pictures to uh, Artful, like on, I'm not going to say names, but the idea of the software that just the majority of everybody, now you can see that line that that jet follows, folks, and it starts hauling ass because it wants to cover that damn line up, okay? And it does. It puts a big contrail there to cover that up because that is a large object out in space that came by or the halo, the black light that we keep on seeing that comes off of the sun, okay, that gets emitted by the sun. It's going to freak people out, okay? People could turn anything that's naturally hologrammed in space down to our horizon and our sky could start turning it into BS, okay? And not, I am religious, so the idea that I don't want anyone trying to be some kind of a cult or religious trying to turn it around and say, oh, God's coming, okay? If God's coming, he's just going to come to everybody, and you will see, you know, whatever. So... Everybody has their ideas that everybody's going to pop up and skulls and bones are going to be walking around and everything like, no, 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 whatever. And then the idea that scientifically, I mean, we could just be like a light bulb, dead in a doornail. But the idea of this stuff <coughs> is actual videos. He has standard use, and it is <coughs> uh, BP. This is BPs, and I'm just, that's all I'm going to say on that. So the idea that slow anything down that messes with people. But uh, BP disaster, yeah, on YouTube. And you'll see it come in here to focus. You're going to see that dark line, and then that contrail is going to cover it. Now, you can see that out ahead of it, okay? Now, folks, the government's not putting a laser up there to make sure they know where to put the jet and stuff like that. It is a dark trail of a comet or something in the sky, and the chemtrails of majority are for weather control, okay? But at the same time... They are covering up that dark light shadow and also the objects that I keep on showing you from Nehemiah that end up giving us black light even in a winter storm, folks. They surface through in objects that are close by Earth in our atmosphere and also because that black object that I showed you in the last couple videos down at Nehemiah is in our atmosphere, folks. It's an object coming through. You can see the heat coming off it. And I'll go to that shot right now to make everybody realize that there is heat coming off that object. And it is either in our atmosphere or getting ready to break through our atmosphere. Play this video from, I believe this is the 17th I had. I'm going to scrunch this video and uh, 
the other video I'm going to show you in a second. Yes, contrails to keep certain things out of view. Okay. Now those were two contrails right there to the left, and the idea they were laying another one down. There was actually a jet up there by the sun laying it down. So I'm going to put this video in with the other video that I'm going to show you in a little glimpse of this morning. I just taped this morning of the super giant's glow coming across the horizon. So as you can see, the contrails there. There's there is uh, if I can pause it. Oh come on. Now during the filming of this, there was a contrail here already laid down, contrail there, and uh, chemtrail, okay? And the idea of contrail, folks, is a jet exhaust, and the idea that they're a lot cleaner these days. You don't really see them that much. They're very thin. Now, don't get me wrong. It could be very uh, about like something like this if they really get on it real fast or something like that when they're accelerating, okay? But otherwise, this stuff here is contrail action, contrail, 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 okay? About four or five, maybe six jets took care of this th that morning on the 17th, okay? And I even panned around when you watch this video, it'll be showing you an idea that you will get the action that the idea that you are seeing more than one sun, okay? And that's not even Rigel Cantera speak because this is the sunrise, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Uh, there is more than one sun coming up in the morning if you get up and watch, okay? You are seeing them in alignment in the supergiants in the eye that are behind our sun that's in the Milky Way, which is right here, in which there is an object that's in front of it. Okay, that is not a camera doing that glitch on the brightness at a certain points in time, folks. I've already proven that you can go back to watch all my videos, and you will see the go back to the a thousand percent proven that the idea down on Rigel Cantaris B, there is these objects in space that go and seek out sunlight that are close to Earth, okay, or between us and the suns. And I, when I say suns, I mean the suns in the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. There's lots of them. Okay, i.e. here, there's more than one sun coming up in the morning, okay? Now, I'm going to move forward in... Sun, we are close to where at an all-time record. We're at an all-time yeah. closeness. Again, and I don't know if battery went dead. Or okay, there's the moon. There's and this was on the 17th. And basically, you just need to watch that. It's going to spend too much time on this video. Okay, folks, it's the 19th, and this is at 8-something a.m., and you'll end up seeing this scrunched together with the other video on the chemtrails, and you can see no chemtrails so far in the morning, okay, a.m.? Okay, no chemtrails, and it is going to be warmer today. We already know by weather forecasts, okay? Because why? Because they know we're not going to be chemtrailing and covering the sun up today. Not that much anyway, at least not yet. If I see some chemtrails, I'll probably try to pop a shot of it, okay? And this basically goes through and shows you how much the sun, there's the moon, and it shows you how much, and have we got anything up by the moon? No, it's just the regular, okay? And, but people need to keep an eye on the moon, too. I'm majority keeping an eye on the supergiants and the sun and that comet, which we figured more than likely is Mercury on fire, okay? And I'm, sh I'm not surprised because I'm pretty sure since the Mercury is so close to the sun that the idea that it's probably caught on fire before because, i.e., the supergiants and or the sun has hit Jupiter before, and we have Soho shots of that, okay? The stuff doesn't disappear. People download the stuff. So basically, horizon-wise, from north, and then we're going south, that's how much the glow is on the sunrise. And, folks, that's almost the complete eastern sky when I just showed you that. Okay, and, yes, the sun has in the past come up. Because why? Because the supergiants exist and they're out there, okay? The idea, I just showed you a little bit of footage of from the 17th. Now, this is the, this morning, Monday the 19th, and I'm videotaping this about, it is about a little bit to 9 right now, okay? So I will scrunch this video, and you'll have the audio from this one and the chemtrail one from the 17th in one video later today or later in the week, okay? So, okay, folks, this is a video just this morning, and it will show you that the idea that it comes up with the sun in front of it, okay? And the idea that you can see the supergiants glow still out to the very back. And yes, there's sunlight back there. This is sunlight also, back here to the right and left. But in the winter solstice, the sun comes up very isolated, very cooled off, and very far away from us. Okay, But we are closer to the sun than we have ever been in mankind's recorded history, almost. We're getting real close. We're only about 77,000 miles. Look at the data that's on my web page okay? on YouTube. Okay? There is that object coming up. 
That's the brightest right there of the sun right now. And the IDI showed you the glow earlier before the sun got up, folks. Okay, and then you can see the light that it dis that it puts out now. And you can also almost tell that the idea that that's the sun there and then another sun comes up, okay, as it bursts back there. That's a sunburst behind there. So sun worshipers and all this, whatever, secretive and all this crap and everything like that, whatever, there is way more than one sun, okay? As you will see, it burst here in a second, and then there's another sun behind. Yeah, someone doesn't like it. So there's the sun burst behind. As you will see, it burst up, okay? Because first off, you get the sun coming up. Sun's first coming up, and then bam, you'll get the other burst from behind the sun. And then you had all the super giants glow all the way along the horizon already. And we do have that object in front of the sun as you see it tumbling. Okay, and even Rigel Cantaris B has it. I.e., the super giants is there because we're not going to continuously have this straight in front of each other. Although A might move over this way. We got Mercury there, so let's go look at the shots because the idea they can't have these satellites run into the supergiants, okay, folks? The sun is in the supergiants in the well, but the supergiants are so humongous that they have to stay back here away from the sun in the supergiants. The supergiants are back here, the belt. All right, so go ahead and pay attention on the 16th. Uh, which comet? Don't know for sure. There will be more videos because there's only so much time to put so much in everything, but they're showing a spiral tail now all of a sudden, too. So there's all kinds of stuff to be able to, the idea that we pretty much know that that has to be more than likely Mercury on fire and everybody needs to wake up because China and America and other countries have been in China for years, folks. You have to remember that this China, th the communism thing might just be a big old ploy for everybody. So big money and power and control, they're going to occupy Tiangong, okay, Tiangong. And when did they get rights to it? Possibly, maybe they do, or if they get a flag there first. So the space race is on, folks, no matter what. Uh, they're going to put probes up there, whatever, it doesn't matter. If they can plop a, a flag up, if you got a flag up, it's yours. That's how it's always worked through history and time. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. You plop a flag up, it's yours. You own it. That's why we have wars. Take their flag down, put our flag up, okay? So check that stuff out. Start checking out Tionga and the idea that Mercury more than likely has gotten a blast and is on fire. I.e. that was the moon that I had in the shot. And the idea there's our axe again. The north is off a little bit and south pole is off big time and it was way over here yesterday. So we are wagging our tail in space, ladies and gentlemen. Over 60,000 miles an hour go moving through space. Uh, vol uh, earthquake action would probably be there again. The idea there is an earthquake map of all kinds of earthquakes going on. There is more than likely Mercury again, more than likely still blazing or one of its uh, moons that we don't know about or so forth and so such. So the idea that uh, people have seen and anybody that's really and pays attention to what and then we got two more comets streaking along more than likely there and that was uh, and then so let me go to the Navy shot and also over here see if we see anything because I found material yesterday and that material is there and I don't know if that's the one material that we have an x-ray that's there that's very big possibly could be uh, you have to remember the size of that stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Even that piece of material that we just showed you, there's your axis turn, there's your earthquake, probably pressure zones, bam, bam, bam. And the idea that this is a humongous, obviously bigger than Earth, folks. Okay? That is bigger than Earth. Okay? Earth it would be just but a speck of like one of these very, very tiny little grains here, folks, would be Earth compared to the sun. Okay? Humongous stuff out there. Okay? All right, so those are your latest Lascos there. Let's go to, keep in mind, these are both behind in. The only one that's really going to give you an upfront shot right now would be B more than likely, giving you somewhat of a, anything close to front shot of the view of Earth. So remember where those are at, and let's look at Lasco. You see the time, it'll, you know, it doesn't lie to you, folks. Truth, data sharing, and education, and political, because the idea that people don't want you to know. So there's what they don't want you to see, basically, is Mercury. I.e. because this, and it doesn't shock me, it's not the first time Mercury's been on fire, it got a blast, okay, folks? And we showed you, the, watch my last few videos and you'll know. And I also remember the idea of this is super giants back here. That's the darker area towards Earth, okay? There's a couple comments today at that time. 
Remember, they turn these shots. This is the supergiants here. And also, pay attention to this bright object here. Watch me show you that. I.e., they turn the shots. You see the flare and the brightness. And this is the dark area towards Earth. More videos soon.